Hi Scorpio, this is a timeless reading for you. Um, this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising. And this is a timeless reading, so whenever you come across this video, it should resonate. The energies can be transferable. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, I pre-shuffled the cards for you. And if I remember anything, I guess I'll spew it out. I'm going to do your past, present, future first. Scorpio, timeless reading for Scorpio. May this guidance find Scorpio when they need it most. For your past, we have trust. Ooh. So this is kind of like um, the page of page of cups where you're. Um, Feeling super trusting and open. Your shock, your heart chakra is completely open. You're you're communicating clearly. Your your love and intentions. Also, this can mean trust in just like the general plan and love for the universe, co-creating with the universe and everything. For your current situation, we have the nine of nine of clouds sorrow card. This is kind of like the nine of swords energy, where you're just kind of feeling um, really like in your head. Um, unable to escape, like super paralyzed and like a nightmarish, doomy feeling. For your for your future, we have adventure, so you'll be coming back to life with a youthful glow. Um, this is kind of like the page of Pentacles, where you're just feeling more in awe, in awe with life, and um, you have more of like a diligent energy, where you're like um, wanting to go move forward towards something new. And we're going to move on to your main spread and then clarify with the Rider Waite deck. Scorpio. Scorpio. Timeless reading for Scorpio, please. but not <laughs> calm. Scorpio. For your current situation, we have the star in reverse. So also the high priestess came out and the world in reverse. So right now it feels like you're just really uh, ignoring your intuition and not taking time to heal yourself possibly. Um, this can also be someone around you. So we'll see when we clarify, but the star in reverse is like, uh, your water isn't necessarily clear, you know, visions aren't coming in, a lot of like uh, spiritual blocks or emotional blocks, obviously with the sorrow card, so we'll clarify, but in your recent past, we have six of wands, so you are having like a lot of uh, success and feeling energetic and trusting, moving forward in life with an eager eagerness and um, trust in your capabilities. And it was successful. And then in your for your abilities right now, we have the Page of Wands in reverse. So you might be feeling um, less than capable and a little bit petulant about it. A little bit of immaturity. Um, it's just from, you know, maybe fear from not able to, not being able to maneuver your feelings or thoughts. So we'll see. For your love, passions, and interests, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So it's, um, you know, spending problem. you know, you might be arguing with a loved one about money, problems, 
you might have poor spending habits. It does feel like a very petulant, immature energy because it feels like you're losing your grip for some reason. It feels like you might be losing your grip. It's all an illusion. You know that. It's all an illusion. Just don't cling and don't become angry. Just let this wave ride. For your outcome, we have the King of Cups in reverse. This could be someone super controlling. This could be someone that is um, not emotionally stable. Someone that is manipulative. Um, they might gaslight you. This could also be you. So, But I kind of feel like this is you coming up here because this is in your future position too. So it's like, I feel like you're going off and leaving someone behind in their controlling. I feel like someone else's energy is rubbing off on you, Scorpio. So let's look. Six of Wands for the recent past, Scorpio. Six of Wands, please. Six of Wands for Scorpio. page of pentacles again nice so we have the page of pentacles where it's like um we have the page of pentacles twice here so for your past and your beginning so it's like something knocked you out of alignment and you're moving back into it um in your recent past you were feeling diligent and all you were feeling capable and successful you might have had like a lot of money coming in or you know a new job something like that and it like kind of made you feel like wow I'm really really um, divinely taken care of I'm divinely guided and I've got this I'm sorry my legs are so long it's not comfortable okay. six of wands page of pentacles six of wands page of pentacles and then we entered this state Eight of Swords, feeling trapped in your mind. What put them there? What put Scorpio there? Okay, I feel like um, you took some time alone, and it might, it might, you might have gone too deep into your feelings and gotten your water muddy, and gotten a little bit depressed and lonely. You know, you might have been working so hard on your success and your abundance that you might have accidentally isolated yourself and put you in a place where you feel trapped, isolated. Um, and it is, for the Eight of Swords, it is um, self-limiting beliefs. It can be. So, trust for the recent past. Yep, you went from trust to feeling left out in the cold and, and left out, just left out, um, isolated, and no longer a part of the whole. So it was a quick flip. Let's see, the star in reverse for the current situation, please. It's like um, we have the star and the, de the, I mean, the sun and the devil to clarify the star in reverse. So what's keeping you from your blessings, what's blocking you from your blessings is avoiding the healing, the to healing of old toxic energy. This is like, you know, you're bound to your old habits, old thought patterns, self-limiting beliefs, you know, doubting yourself. And that puts you in this state of sorrow because it's like you're haunting yourself. If you're not active, whatever whatever you repress will persist. It will keep coming back into your life. And that's why you just go in these constant loops and cycles of toxicity. And your, blo your blessings get blocked. Because look at how close you were in your recent past. You were on the path to success and diligence. You know, you were working hard. And then something triggered you into this slipping back into your old thought patterns, old tr old. Uh, toxic um, patterns. I, I don't know. 
everybody has them so you know don't take it personally I have them I certainly do I certainly do so sorrow nine of clouds please for Scorpio nine of clouds sorrow there we go I feel like you were really banking on something you were working on something really hard you were being diligent you were putting all of your life force into this Ten of Cups, the, what you thought was going to be your Ten of Cups. Now, Ten of Cups is, can be a really good card, but since it's coupled with this toxic energy and this sorrow, I feel like you put so much weight on what your ideal love is and what you are working towards that you are ultimately possibly setting yourself up for disappointment and to get back trapped into your, your head. You might have set um, a relationship up for failure um, because of old past, you know, condition, false conditioning and false ideals. So it's like, you know, check what you believe your Ten of Cups is and is it realistic for a human person to fulfill or even yourself, you know, be fair to yourself. Page of Wands in reverse for the abilities, please. Scorpio. The magician. So you have all the resources available to you. You have the skills and everything. You have all the materials that you need. Now it's like don't get, don't, this can also mean like, you know, manipulating with the page. With the Page of Wands in reverse, this can mean a very youthful energy uh, person, a very youthful person taking advantage of the materials at hand and not towards something that will be good for them. It's It might bring them harm or someone else harm. It's like, there's, let me see. I feel like you're just really trying to manifest in your life at all costs. And there is always a cost. So. Try to get, try to be grounded. It's good to step out of your comfort zone. But um, that dog is warning you of something. And it doesn't want you to feel pinned down and isolated again. It doesn't want to have, you know, the ten of swords is the end of a cycle. And I feel like you're going through these cycles multiple times throughout your life. Because you're... There's a lot of immature energy here, and I'm sorry to say it, but you have to check yourself. You're sl uh, slipping a little bit. I don't want to be fake, and I don't want to steer you wrong. My stomach is, like, tight because I'm so nervous about making you mad, but it's like... There's cycles here that need to be healed because it's feeling you're going through pin down feeling good, pin down feeling good, pin down feeling good. And it's, um, you know, you always also have to check your integrity because there's a toxic energy here where you might be manipulating others or situations or, you know, overspending. We'll see. Ace of Pentacles for love, passions, and interests. Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio. That's like half the deck, I need. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. High Priestess. And the Empress. I feel like you might be dealing with, you might be dealing with someone extremely intuitive and they're really not trying to be involved with this imbalance because this is like a rejection of a new offer, you know, and it's like either you are rejecting it or someone with a lot of intuition and abundance around them is just like, I can't take this on right now. You might be dealing with an earth sign or a Virgo.
I feel like they can see through your secrets and it's, you know, they don't want to get back into this mindset with you. They know that you have stuff to heal and, um, you're up at night, you know, you got the, you got night sweats, you've got, you're, you're just paralyzed in your mind and that takes healing. And right now I feel like this person is so intuitive and they're on their own journey of abundance and, you know, trying to be, oh, trying to sustain themselves. The whole deck just knocked over. You guys are pissed. I'm so sorry. I don't want to lie to you. I mean, this is why I don't like doing water, water signs. So emotional. Yeah, the entire deck is like fucked. Ugh. Thank you so much. It's not good to hear this stuff about yourself, and I'm sorry, but it's like, do you want me to lie? I don't know. King of Cups in reverse for the outcome. justice you gotta you gotta get your balance back and serve justice you gotta regain your clarity because you're being manipulative either manipulative of outcomes situations jobs but you're just trying to avoid accountability it feels like and avoid healing avoiding healing and it's serving you injustice and those around you injustice and it feels very selfish and emotionally unstable. Adventure, please. You're slowly moving towards a new beginning. Slowly moving towards stability where you were at the beginning of the reading. You're slowly moving towards your success and regaining balance. You know, Knight of Pentacles is a very slow but it is, it's something that is built to last. He's a slow knight, but he, whatever he works on is built to last and it is secure. So you're, I feel like, you know, you're slowly moving towards your security and regaining your innocence on a positive scale, not a petulant, like immature, naive scale. You gotta have integrity. You gotta have integrity or else karma will come for you fast. Eight of Wands. You'll get your just deserves. If you do good, it'll come back. But if you do bad, it'll come back. So. The lovers. So it's like some kind of soulmate talk. It's definitely like a toxic tie. Ties. I don't. I don't want to do this anymore. Um, how can you create balance in all aspects of your life? You really gotta regain your balance and um, integrity here. I'm really sorry. I probably lost a lot of subscribers, but can't can't be fake. Sorry. <laughs> 